An update to breaking news that we've been following all evening. Former Tulsa County Reserve Sheriff's Deputy Robert Bates behind bars right now awaiting transfer to a state prison. A judge formally sentenced Bates today to four years in the shooting death of Eric Harris. Two Works For You reporter Nathan Edwards is live at the jail tonight with What's Next. Nathan. Well, Brian and Karen Bates right now is being held here at the Tulsa County Jail, secluded from other inmates. Now, in a week, he'll be moved to a state prison where he will fight for an appeal. At 74, Robert Bates marched out of the courtroom, knowing a prison cell will be his home for the next four years. My husband is a wonderful pillar of this community. It was a tragic accident, which we all are scarred for life. Charlotte Bates devastated her husband's poor health wasn't considered. To put my husband in prison for four years, my husband will die. Just one of several arguments presented by his lawyers. For three hours today, both sides made their case. Ultimately, the judge agreed with the jury, handing down the maximum sentence for second degree manslaughter. In this situation, the fact that Mr. Bates is older, white, has resources that others don't, shouldn't matter. He killed a human being and he needed to go to the penitentiary. The case now heads to appellate court where Bates will fight the ruling. I'm pretty confident, honestly, that there will be uh, a just ending to this case in our favor. Under state law, Bates will serve a third of his sentence before he's eligible for parole. At that point, good behavior and his past will be considered for early release. There's no winners. No, nobody's happy. I'm not happy about this whole situation. Nobody is. We don't, nobody wants to be here. Eric Harris's family getting some closure today. His son Aiden missing his father as he graduated this month. And when he wasn't there, it was, it was sad to know my dad wouldn't watch me, but watch me from the heaven. Mm -hmm. yeah, I forgive Bob Bates, I forgive him, but there's still consequences for the actions. We still don't know which prison Bates will be heading to, and once he gets there, it'll be up to the state to decide whether or not he'll still be in a private cell. Live in downtown Tulsa, Nathan Edwards, Two Works for You.